more about the science behind building a combat robot. In the competitive world of robot combat, builders are always looking for an advantage. This year, Team Valkyrie and its integration engineer, Alex Kreese, are changing the game in how they manufacture parts by using a rapidly growing innovative technology, 3D printing. Alex, I'm so happy to be chatting with you. What is going on here in terms of the innovation behind robots? What's happening? These printers are very unique. A lot of people associate 3D printing with sort of weak plastic parts. Mm -hmm. um, but what these printers actually do is okay. they reinforce parts with continuous strands of composite fibers. Uh, we can print in carbon fiber, fiberglass, and Kevlar. So here we actually have a strand of carbon fiber, and this is actually being ironed down into the part. Okay. So with the continuous fiber reinforcement, we can print parts with carbon fiber that are just about as strong as aluminum, but a lot lighter. So it means that teams are able to print these parts that are just as strong as metal, but can save them a whole lot of weight. So much weight, and making yeah. weight is such a big thing around exactly. here. Exactly. The robot weight limit is 250 pounds. So all of Valkyrie's lightweight 3D printed parts allow them to distribute more weight to other parts of the robot, like heavier armor and their massive spinning weapons. How does 3D printing take robots to the next level? We are very big on rapid iteration and design, so like having 3D printing available and like laser cutting and stuff makes it so you can build really quickly. Um, and there's a lot of the old school guys, they don't touch this stuff at all. Wow. And I think that that's like one of our biggest advantages that we can rapidly change stuff. Like we had a battery box break, we're printing a new one, like here. It's fascinating. We were uh, tipped off that uh, you like hockey. So what? we uh, no decided way. to make both uh, this and uh, Hockey puck. Are you kidding? Um, that has Valkyrie on it. So this is a mix of you get to learn a thing and you get a thing. This is um, so cool. So this is one <laughs> printed out of our high strength stuff that we use on our robot. Oh my uh, gosh. And then we have one that is just for your average PLA, what your hobbyist printer is. Really? And uh, we decided we wanted to do a demo to show the strength capabilities of both of them. This is a traditional 3D printing plastic, and this is a 30 pound cinder black. When we apply force to this, when Watch we apply this force. Okay. And then now with the stuff we use on our robot. For this this one. one's reinforced with continuous strands of carbon fiber. And when we apply load to this one, wow. it holds just fine. That's why these printers are so useful for battle bot builders is this part is just about as strong as metal. That doesn't even make sense. And it weighs to me. like not that much. I know. To metal. That is crazy. Yeah. I love this idea. I mean, we could do some stick handling and. Hi. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. This yeah. is so cool. No and problem. it made a lot of sense.